Let's talk about blasting. Soon you will be able to explain the blasting strategies and choose the perfect blasting media for your surface finishing needs. Additionally, you will distinguish blasting and shot peening, but the best part will be the visualization of blasting influences. Within the context of post-processing, surface finishing is a crucial downstream process. Here we apply blasting, among other methods. When blasting manually, it is necessary to blast from different directions and angles as well as to keep a distance of 30 to 50 millimeters to the part's surface. There is a huge variety of blasting media available. It ranges from soft and fine to very coarse and aggressive or abrasive media. Depending on the purpose, different agents are recommended. Let's find out how blasting media differ. Nutshells are mainly used for cleaning purposes. They are not very abrasive but remove semi-melted or sticking particles. Parts appear brighter. Ceramics compress the surface and can therefore reduce the roughness. The result is a metallic, matte surface finish. Steel beads compress the surface as well and reduce the roughness. Parts will have a metallic, shiny look. Silicon carbide is suitable for smoothing the surface and parts appear matte. Aluminum oxide is often used for aluminum parts and is suitable for smoothing. The result is a matte surface finish. Whereas blasting is mainly used for cleaning and smoothing, shot peening is used to produce a compressed layer in order to change the material properties. The surface or roughness profile is compressed due to high-speed particles, which act as a ball peen hammer. Compared to blasting, shot peening uses higher pressure, thus energy, to compress the surface of the material. Blasting is used to clean the surface from residual powder particles to smooth the surface or to change the appearance of the part. The blasting step can be used as an initial step to homogenize the surface of the part in order to reduce the differences in roughness between downskin and upskin. Small samples were blasted with nutshells, glass beads, ceramics and silicon carbide. All blasting agents, excluding nutshells, led to a reduction in the upskin and sideskin roughness of 30 to 65%. More significantly is the effect in downskin and supported areas. With ceramics, the downskin roughness was reduced by nearly 80%. By comparing the surface roughness of this part before and after blasting, it is visual that the roughness in upskin was reduced from 11 micrometers to 6 micrometers and in the downskin from 34 micrometers to 10 micrometers. What did you learn? You know that first it is necessary to blast from different directions and angles as well as to keep a certain distance to the part's surface. Second, there are different media that are used for blasting for example, nutshells, ceramics, steel beads, silicon carbide, or aluminum oxide. Third, whereas blasting is mainly used for cleaning and smoothing, shot peening is used for compression. And finally, blasting can be used as an initial step to homogenize the surface of the part in order to reduce the differences in roughness between downskin and upskin. There are many more surface finishing methods. What do you want to learn about next? <laughs>